Hey guys, so I'm starting out with the face and I'm using the model's own mattifying primer, so just spreading that all over my skin. And the foundation I'm using is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation. I have been obsessed with this over the last couple of weeks. It is such a good foundation from the drugstore. It's kind of light to medium coverage, but I generally just do a second little layer on the areas where I want more coverage. But as you can see, it buffs out so nicely. I'm just using my Tarte double-ended foundation brush. And here, as you can see, I'm just adding a little bit more product and pressing it into my skin. That gives you the most beautiful dewy look and oh, I love it. Then I'm using the Model Co contouring stick. So I'm just applying it to all of my usual areas where I would apply it to. I kind of applied a little bit too much. You don't actually need this much product, but I went a tad overboard, but I used my Sigma F84 brush to buff it all out. And then I just went back in with my foundation brush, as you can see, with no product and blended out the edges. Then for concealer, I actually did my whole face before I started my eyes this time. And I do this when I'm getting ready for work, but generally I don't do it on my channel. So it's kind of weird for me, but I am using Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral, just applying it to my under eyes, my eyelids, and all down the center of my face. I know this one's a bit light for me, but I've run out of my darker one almost, and I'm trying to savor all of the last little little bits in there. So just blended that out with the opposite end of the foundation brush. Then I took the Huda Beauty, I think it's the strobing kit, and I used the cream shade just to highlight all of the high points of my face, obviously. I used the 4D HD Kabuki from Sigma, and I absolutely love, love, love this. It was so, so gorgeous. Then once my cream products were down, I used my Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder and I just used like a little sponge, like a cheap sponge and I just applied some of it to my face to bake under my eyes and under my contour. But I just used a regular F25 brush for the rest of the face um, to set everywhere else and kind of buff that product away. Then I took the Tarte Pro Glow To Go kit and I used the bronzing shade. This bronzer is very warm toned, so just be aware of that. You don't need a lot of product. Uh, but yeah, I just applied that with an F23 bronzing kind of contouring brush from Sigma. Then I used MAC Melba Blush, which is one of my old favorites. I love the color of this so much. And then I used the kind of pinky shade from the Huda Strobing Palette, and I used that as a blush topper. It just gave me such a nice glow. And then I took the more yellowy toned shade. I'm not sure what it's called, but it will be listed down below. And I used that on an FO3 to actually highlight all of the high points and kind of set that cream highlighter in place. And then finally, to give myself a little bit more glow, I just used my Splash Hydrating Setting Spray from Algenist. Then moving on to the eyes, I used the Kathleen Lines and ColourPop Dream Street Palette. The first shade I took was this orangey kind of cream shade and I just buffed this with an E40 into the crease and underneath the eyes. Then I went into the shade Shooting Star which is kind of like a really light toned taupey brown and I just did the same thing just kind of building up those tones into the crease and building up dimension. Then I took Potion, which is one of my favorite shades out of the whole palette. It is so pigmented and so beautiful. I love this for the outer corner and the crease. So I just really built up the outer V with an E25 brush and buffed it through the crease and through the lower lash line. Then I took the shade Elfish, which is more of a deep kind of, I don't know, poo brown. I don't really know. It's gorgeous though. I love it for the eyes. So I just did the same thing. I just really wanted to build up all of those warm brown tones into the crease just to make everything super smoky and kind of sultry. And then I just took the shade Spark which is this gorgeous reddish pink and I just used a little bit of that just in the top of the crease where all of those other colors meet the skin on an E40. 
Then taking my favorite color from the palette, which is called Twinkle, I'm using my finger to just apply this all over my lid. Let me just say, I miss my acrylic nails so much, but it's so easy to apply lid shades without them. But they will be back sometime soon when my ugly little nails grow out. Anyway, getting off track. I just applied that to the lid and to the under eyes and then blended everything out. And then I decided to just go in with a little bit more of that Elfish shade and just build it up in the outer corner because I felt like some of the intensity kind of got blended away. So I did that and then I used the two highlight shades from the Huda Beauty palette and just highlighted my inner corners. Then I used a black coal pencil from the Eye of Horus brand and I tight lined and did a smudgy little line on my upper lash line make everything super smoky and then I used a bronze eye pencil from Rimmel in my lower waterline. Then I used my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara which oh I love this mascara so much but it flakes and smudges on me like a little bitch but if I wear it and then top it off with like Benefit They're Real it works a treat so yeah. Then pulling the ugliest face I've ever pulled, I had to leave that in. I am applying some Huda Beauty Samantha No. 7 lashes. And then finally for the lips, I'm lining them with Lolita from Kat Von D Lip Pencil and filling them in using one of these new L'Oreal lip paints. Um, I'll have the shade name listed below, but it's freaking gorgeous. And that was literally it. It's such an easy look and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next video.